Alrighty. So we've had some discussions lately about different configurations with Ultron. I think the main one is Magneto, Juggernaut, plus Ultron, and then some variation of Ronin, Minerva, Vision, Groot, and Star-Lord. Um, but we haven't really tried fighting Miner Minerva Guardians plus Ultron. So uh, I figured to go through this and show the kill order, uh, or the turn order, however you want to call it. Um, the one thing I do like to do with this particular one is um, we need some dispel. So that's where vision is really important to use him. And if you don't have him high enough, um, you could try huh, maybe a Hawkeye or eh, he might not be powerful enough. He's pretty weak. Uh, or a Captain Marvel could work too. Mine's, I'm still working on her. I want to get her up to tier 12, maybe tier 13 if I can get the materials for it. Um, but I'm going to try it with this. Jugs, Mags, Vision, Star-Lord, and Ultron is a pretty solid group. Um, since they have a Minerva, I could use my Minerva as well. Um, you know, she has really good synergy with Ultron, and uh, that could work. There's a lot of different configurations of teams that you could use to win. I think the primary thing is just how you start this first turn, and I think that makes all the difference in arena fights. If you get a good first turn, you will likely win the match. Um, you just got to hope for some good RNG. Uh, in this one, I don't have to worry about ability blocks. The only thing I really have to worry about is Star-Lord's second turn blind. Other than that, with no real tank, aside from Groot's uh, first turn taunt from uh, Rocket, I don't really have to do much here. Um, one thing I could do is uh, disrupt the Groot with the Magneto special, but I don't really need to do that because he's only going to have that taunt up for a couple of turn or for a couple of my guys turns in this turn one and i'd rather go with the blind because the star lord rocket uh combo just does too much damage otherwise and that groot assist and now my star lord ult uh, yeah and you can see that only rocket landed a hit there because he lost his blind already but as an assist it's not too bad you can work with that now the other nice thing about this is using vision on turn one with no magneto to blind he can actually ability block groot which is awesome and i got lucky and it fell on the ultron so this means i've won this match already um no way i can lose now absolutely none um unless i i don't even know i'm pretty sure i could put this on auto and finish and win this because i got that ability block on ultron if you can ability block their ultron before um and, and well i mean before your turn your turn or whatever is up um just go for it because there's no reason not to if you can push him a turn back on his minion summons and you get yours down like there's no way he can lose look if we'll do this rocket all he's not going to kill anything because they all have defense up and tier 13 ultron's minions are just too powerful um now i've got turn meter reduction with this guy so i'm gonna do it on ultron and then uh, we'll just focus down Minerva if we need to. Um, we've got Ultron's offense up alt. Uh, I could kill their Ultron, but he has no buffs. He's only going to call in minions next. So let's kill the Minerva first so that she can't res. And honestly, we can ignore Rocket and Star-Lord. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that counter, though. Ooh, didn't quite work. But, I mean, this is... Ooh, Star-Lord did not die. I thought I was going to get him. Um... But we can also remove his buffs very easily. Or just remove him altogether. Oh, and that's the other thing. I totally forgot. So, cool thing about ability blocking Ultron on turn one when you're attacking him and he's AI. He will get... See, with ability block, he still gets the energy generation. So that means the next turn, his alt and his um, summon will both be filled. And the way the AI works, it always uses the higher of the two. So the alt over the special if they're both full on energy. And so it makes him waste his alt without offense up, without his buffs to extend. And he really doesn't do anything. Like, it's it's it, it just totally nerfs him uh, when it's the AI. So let's see if we can get rid of some of his buffs. <laughs> I love that Ultron basic. It's so OP. Um, but yeah, so that's an easy win on Guardians with Ultron. And the whole reason why is because there's really no tank here to take the attention away from Ultron, Minerva. And, and I didn't even have to focus Rocket or Star-Lord. Um, so I think that's uh, a pretty bad defense. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least i think you have to have drax in there and honestly with minerva i mean to me i don't think minerva's good d 
defensive player. I've said this many times, but let's reiterate it. So she has two abilities. One of them takes a ton of energy. Her ult is like seven energy or something. So that's going to be seven turns after she uses it until she can get it back, unless she gets some energy generation from somewhere else. And she would need like a Star-Lord and a Thanos feeding her in order to really get her to use it twice in a match, or it would just have to be an extremely long match. I just don't see her very useful in that regard. Her main purpose is to revive somebody if they die. And to me, that's only useful if you're running a couple of tanks to keep the heat off of her so that she can survive while you accidentally kill or maybe in purpose kill one of their uh, tanks. So I don't think she's that good on defense. I love her on offense, though. She is amazing on offense because when you control her, it's pretty simple. Um, she is uh, very good in utility in that, that um, perspective when you're controlling her. But with the AI, I just don't see her being that useful i really think you need more damage you need more utility or you need another tank to take the heat off of your damage dealers like ultron rocket or star lord so i would say don't use minerva on defense uh, i think it's better to go all out attack i think captain marvel is amazing on defense uh, that's why i'm still working on her um, the great thing about her is she will remove mag's blind on turn one and do her alt which can do a ton of damage so I think she's really good. I love the mags and jugs combo because they require so much attention. Um, Mag er, Magneto obviously buffs Juggernaut a bit and uh, extends his taunt to two turns. So they're kind of a necessary pair. Um, but I don't really like the other Brotherhood because I think like Pyro's too squishy. He's really easy to target. And he's really easy to blind. And then uh, Mystique is okay, but I mean... You know, she just doesn't do enough damage, I don't think, other than her ult. I mean, if you could find a way to feed her ult and get it twice in a round, maybe it would work. But I just don't think she's worth investing in, in that way. Um, but I think Vision is really important, especially with all the Ultrons around, because his second turn ult, if it's not blinded, it will remove a ton of buffs from the enemy team and may, may give you the edge. But in any case, right now, no defense is perfect. Every defense is beatable. And it's just a matter of what do you have on your roster that can deter people. Maybe it's just high power. Maybe, you know, if you just throw in your highest power dude and people see that number and they'll think, eh, you know what? I'd rather fight, you know, somebody 30,000 less power than that. I don't know. Sometimes that works. If you happen to be top dog in your shard and CP and STP, maybe it'll just be a matter of putting up the biggest uh, power team possible. But uh, that's that's just how it is right now. Um, you know, this team would be pretty easy to beat. Um, one of the nice things about having Ultron is his ult. Assuming he he goes normally with his without any slows or stuns, um, he'll summon minions turn one. Fury summons minions turn one, and then um, he'll get his or Ultron gets his buffs, he'll get his ult before Fury uses his special. So he gets to go uh, in front of Fury because of all the speed up from his minions. And he can one-shot a Fury that's four red stars and seven stars overall. I've been able to one-shot this guy because um, he does about 115, 120k damage with the offense up ult. So you can one-shot that Fury and you don't even have to worry about his buffs because you'll kill him before he gets to share. And then the rest of them are pretty, pretty easy pickings. So... It's just a matter of uh, kind of figuring out your shard and who, who's available and who you can kill. Um, but yeah, that's Ultron plus Guardians uh, without a tank, and uh, I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> so we'll try. We'll see, see if we can find another team that's similar, but maybe with a Drax instead, and maybe that'll make it a little tougher because then that first turn, uh, you do have to get rid of Drax Taunt, and you also have to consider um, worrying about the second turn Taunt from Drax if you don't disrupt them. So we'll see. I'll try to find a good team to fight. 